like watercolor. Right? It looks like watercolor, it's on watercolor paper. The only difference is you cannot lift it. Once acrylic paint has formed its film, it is going to stay there. So if this was watercolor and I took it over to the sink and ran water on it, it would lift because that's what watercolor does. And people who master it use that technique a lot. Um, but if I took this over and poured water on it, it would just get wet. So if you want the lifting effect, you know, then stick with watercolor. On the other hand, if you want to do thin veils of watercolor-like things without affecting the color underneath, this is where you would use acrylic. Um, one of my favorite boards is we have, uh, this is Stalo Blue, red shade again. We have the heavy body, you can see the brush stroke, and the fluid, no brush stroke. Right? Heavy body, brush stroke, fluid, no brush stroke. This one, I took 10 parts of the polymer medium, and I added it to the heavy body so it has the same viscosity as the fluid. You see how much pigment you lost? You extended the paint a little too far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is 50% water added to this. This is 50% water added to the fluid. Everyone following that? Do I need to repeat it? Because I will. Um, so the whole thing is, if you're using the paint in the right area, you're going to use less of it. And then you got to become a better customer because you're going to come in here and buy the things that you need. Right? Don't you think a good customer is one who is, you know, we don't want people, I mean, go, that's the one reason I do this. Is we don't want you going out there and buying a bunch of gallons of stuff you're not going to use. That's not a good business model at all. So that's one reason why they, they teach us all you can pass around the swamp. Um, why they, you know, they teach us to go around and talk about this stuff because they want you to find the right thing. Now, here's some kind of cool 